How many times have you seen a bunch of people crowding around someone's tiny screen when there's a big TV right there in the same room? Maybe it seems like it would take a bunch of effort to get whatever's on that small screen up on the TV, or maybe people just don't know it can be done. Either a lack of awareness, maybe a lack of know-how. Either way, I'm here to fix it. Hey everyone, Caleb Dennison here with Digital Trends, and today I'm going to help you get whatever it is that's on your phone displaying up on your TV. There are a lot of ways to do it. Some work best for iOS owners, some better for Android, and if you're on a Mac or PC, I've got you covered too. First though, we have to talk about the difference between casting and mirroring. Casting is what it sounds like. You've got photos, video, music on your phone that you want to see on your TV, so you cast it to the TV. The thing about casting is that your TV or speakers take the content you're enjoying and sort of pick it up, so your phone stops being involved and that means your battery isn't being worn down. On the flip side, it also means that you aren't really sharing exactly what's on your screen, and there are times when that's what you need to do. That process is called mirroring, and that's primarily what we'll focus on today. When you wanna share exactly what's on your phone, tablet, or laptop screen on a TV, you'll wanna mirror, so here's how you can do it. Let's start with Apple iOS devices, because as is often the case with Apple, there is a very specific, easy way to do this, and it's called AirPlay. We're now in the generation of AirPlay 2, but the mirroring function is the same, and it works on iPhones, iPads, and Mac computers. Here's how to get it on your Apple device. Depending on how new your device is, you'll wanna swipe down from the upper right corner or swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This brings up your command center, and from there, select screen mirroring, and then select your Apple TV or AirPlay 2 compatible smart TV. Aha, see, that's the next part of this puzzle. You either need an Apple TV, which will connect to any TV with an HDMI input, so that's the go-to for just about anyone, or if you happen to own one of many smart TVs from the last couple of years that may have gotten an AirPlay 2 upgrade recently, you can just select the TV. Vizio, LG, Samsung, Sony, they all have smart TVs that support AirPlay 2 now. In some cases, models going as far back as three years. If you don't have one of these TVs, get the Apple TV box. Once connected, you can share video and photos and stuff, but you can also mirror your screen. Keep in mind that AirPlay mimics your screen exactly. So if you want the image to fill the screen, turn the phone or iPad sideways into landscape mode. Side note, AirPlay uses Wi-Fi, so you'll need all your devices on the same network. Now, this is the only way to truly mirror your iPhone or iPad screen on a TV. But if you're just looking to share content, you can do that a few different ways, and I'm gonna cover them on a device by device basis. Which takes me to Roku. Whether you have a Roku set-top box, streaming stick, or Roku baked into your TV, and you know because you have a remote like this, most Android and Windows users are covered. First, you'll wanna go into your Roku settings menu and choose whether mirroring requests should be auto-granted, auto-denied, or permission should be requested on a case-by-case -case basis. There's also an approved and banned device list that you can manage. I would urge you not to choose auto-granted though, as anyone on your network could just hijack your TV. Now your Roku is ready, and it will work with just about any Android device running 4.2 or newer, which hopefully most of you are by now. It also works for Windows those devices running 8.1 or newer. The only catch is the terminology on your Android device, which changes depending on the brand. So you'll want to look for Smart View, Quick Connect, Smart Share, All Share Cast, Wireless Display, HTC Connect, Screencasting, or Just Cast. Once you've identified the correct terminology, you can usually enable mirroring from the Settings menu under the Network or Display Settings. Windows 10 users, just open the Action Center, select Project, and connect to a wireless display, then pick the Roku device on your network. iOS users, you can share photo, video, and music. This, again, is casting using the Play on Roku features. Next is Amazon Fire TV. Whether you've got a newer cube, stick, or a TV with Fire TV baked in, you've got options. To enable mirroring, go to Settings, then Display and Sounds, and Enable Display Mirroring. Android devices running 4.2 or newer Amazon Fire HDX tablets, and anyone still clinging to a Fire Phone, oh yeah, those are still a thing, <laughs> they're all covered. For iOS users, the best you can do to cast photos and videos is an app called AllCast, which is not free, and we don't have a ton of experience using it, so your mileage may vary. Next up is the Chromecast and Chromecast Ultra. These dongles are cheap, plug into any HDMI port, and support casting from tons of apps. They will also let virtually any Android device running 4.4.2 and newer mirror their screens. And you can also mirror from a PC or Mac's 
Chrome browser. So not complete computer metering, but most web-based stuff can be shown. For Android device owners, make sure your Google Home app is updated and you'll find the option to cast your screen from there. By the way, Chromecast is built into most Sony TVs these days, as well as Vizio's SmartCast platform. So if you own one of those TVs, you don't need the dongle, the feature is built right in. Okay, so those are our preferred mirroring methods, but there are a couple of other options I wanted to mention. One is Miracast, which is an older technology, but it doesn't work through your Wi-Fi network. Instead, it sets up its own Wi-Fi direct situation and lets Android and PC users beam their screens to an HDMI dongle you plug in the back of your TV. Some TVs even have Miracast built in. Unfortunately, like AirPlay, it's gonna use your device's resources, which can be a drain on your battery. But PC users, this is actually one of the best options for mirroring anything on your screen. There's also a wired option for anyone who has an MHL logo next to one of their TV's HDMI ports. Get a cable that goes from your phone's output to HDMI and plug it right in. It will even charge your phone while you're mirroring. As for game consoles like the Xbox One S and X or PlayStation Slim and Pro, it can be done, but it requires the use of apps and it's just a hit or miss proposition. I would go so far as to say, invest in one of the aforementioned streaming sticks or boxes, or use what your TV has built in, rather than jank around and use your game console for mirroring. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope that you found this guide useful. If so, leave us a comment down below, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.